M zero FXB, welcome to my channel. Just thought I'd do this initial setup uh, video because many of us are getting our uh, Icon fifty twos very soon. So I just thought I'll just scroll through this section called initial setup. So the headings are attach the battery pack, insert micro SD card, turn on transceiver, audio level adjust, save in your initial set initial settings, confirming GPS enter my call sign which to me that's the most important one if you ask me is step seven registering your call sign gateway repeater yeah which i've i've had difficulty doing that but it's doable um so i'm just going to skip through them so attaching the battery pack if you've got an icon 51 uh it's the same basically clips in from the bottom and then you just push it in like so it says here that some current does still flow in the circuits so it's better if you're not going to use the radio for a long time to remove the battery capacity of the battery pack so here's the uh, you know what you'll see on the screen and it does ask you when you if you use different battery packs to select when you connect it and it, you can also use the bp307 which is the really big super battery it's quite big but nice i've got one um so there you go Prior to using the transceiver for the first time, the battery pack must be fully charged for optimum life and operation. So basically, charge it up before you turn it on. Be, f be sure to turn off the transceiver while charging with the supplied battery charger. Otherwise, the attached battery pack cannot be charged. While charging, the charging icon shows here is here. There you are. And it disappears when it's fully charged. Um, there's the... DC charger that comes with the radio as you can see inserting a micro SD card so have a look here flip it down look this is the way it faces pull the flap down slip that in turning on the transceiver I know you, you do have to sort of hold it down to make it come on and it's the same when you're turning it off and sometimes on my I find on mine it doesn't really want to turn on the first time I do that maybe it's just my radio and even turn off I've got to do it a couple of times but don't push too hard I just gently hold it and uh, should turn on and off adjusting the audio level yeah we've just got the usual volume control here channel changer is the small section saving data to the SD card so here's the you know turn on press menu select SD card select format uh, the confirmation dialog is displayed. Yes, the formatting starts. So you format it. Talks about logger. Initial setup. Menu, SD card, set menu, save setting, new file. Save settings, new file, and you get a file name. And then you click click save confirming the GPS of receiving signals well if it's not flashing at the top on the radio you, if it's on permanently you know it the GPS is locked and mine locks quite quick GPS um, is recommended to prolong battery life manually update your position so GPS drains the battery and that's it so that's it the main thing is charge it fully Get your SD card in there. Oh, enter in your call sign. That's important. Turning on, saving format, saving data, GPS. So to operate D Star, you have to enter your call sign. So select menu, or go to uh, hold down menu, go to my station. So scroll down to my station here. Then go to select my station, go to my call sign, and then go to number one here. You can add more than one call sign. Like so. And click the quick button. You get the edit option. And then you can add your call sign in. I'll make a video actually doing it. But this is just the manual now. And get your call sign in there. So that's it. So I think that will get you up and running. Um, if you want to change VFO A and B, you just push the, um, I'll show you the button here.
a bit manual, isn't it? Right. So I'll just show you on here. If you want to go A and B, hit the main button here. A and B. If you want VFO, select MR here. That's MR. And then VFO is the top one here. MR here. Hold down the main and dual if you want to go single receive where it's the whole screen and then dual and the main menu, click menu, got the whole grid of menus and then the quick button is like shortcuts and so yeah, volume here, channel change here, SD card here. So uh, yeah, it's similar to the 51, so 73, hope this helps, all the best, please like and subscribe if you find this helpful. M0FXB, about the charging with the power on, when the battery pack is attached, an optional CP12L or OPC254 external DC power cable is connected to the DC and the battery pack can be charged even if the transceiver is on. This operation may generate certain spurious signals and the S meter may appear or noise may be heard. And then we're going to put note. The charging time with the power on may differ depending on the operation condition. The external DC power supply voltage may must be between 10 and 16 volts and the current capacity must be more than 2.5 amps to charge the battery with the power on. When you operate the transceiver while charging and if you cannot receive signals correctly, set charging power on to off. Menu set function charging power on default is on. So there you go. Um, it's a bit of a tough one. That I'd like to hear what the technicians say. Yes, you can charge and you can uh, while it's on, but when you're TXing, um, I'm not really clear on on that description. Let me know what you think. Seven three M zero FXB. All the best.